finally good to have it back. Woo! I got it back, baby! Yeah! Sorry! Oh my god, it's so good to have my bike back. I've just gone to it and it's clean! Ha! Oh my god, it's so good to be back on the bike. Oh, I've missed you, baby. What is a gun doing in your trousers? It's for protection. Protection from what? Does he jump? So I finally have my bike back. Oh yeah, it's taken a bit over a month. Month and, ah, let's say month and two weeks. Most of that was waiting for insurance to give the go-ahead to start repairs, wankers. But I have it, and she's back, baby! So happy right now. Uh, that was uh, $4,000 worth of damage. They had to replace all the electrics, the ECU, my windshield, and my seat. But she's back back in action and I couldn't be any happier so the deal was I on the 24th of January which is the day before Boxing Day in uh, sorry Australia Day in Australia what was it yeah Australia Day <laughs> uh, there was a storm on the night and uh, the thief came during that storm lots of thunder very loud night heavy rain and uh, ripped the windshield off, uh, cut the ignition wires, uh, tried to do the old uh, steering lock brake thing by smashing the ignition with a screwdriver or something. Not entirely sure, so that, that was all busted. Um, he also jimmied the seat open and uh, in his attempts to start the bike he managed to destroy the battery. So, you know, just total, totally uh, drew all the power out of the battery and couldn't get it to start. So he rolled it around to the other side of the next apartment block next to mine and put a bike cover over it. The next day, um, I went with my family to the city and I told my neighbor that the bike had been stolen and he, uh, later on that day, he realized that there was a bike around the side of the building that was unaccounted for and under a cover. So he asked the rest of the people that lived in the apartment block whether they knew whose bike it was, and they didn't. So when I got, when I got home that afternoon, he yelled out to me and said, hey mate, there's a bike around the back of this building under a bike cover. Um, on an off chance it's yours, go have a look and see if it is. And uh, lo and behold, I walked around, pulled up the cover and bam, there she was. So she'd been missing for a total of, uh, what was that, 36 hours let's say, roundabout. Police came, took a statement, a couple days later the forensics team came and took fingerprints. And uh, a few days after that, uh, the tow truck guy came and took the bike to Bike Biz in Parramatta. And then it took a month for QBE to get their shit together and approve my bike to get fixed. Bike Biz did an awesome job. They took less than a week to fix it. Uh, recharged my battery, uh, got me a new battery and charged it. Cleaned my bike for me. <laughs> Yay! And uh, now she's here. So, uh, lessons learned. Uh, an alarm or anything that will deter is a good idea. My alarm was not functioning at the time. It is now. So I've got that. I've got a bike lock on the way. I've got a gonna bolt that gonna bolt that to the ground, to the concrete slab. But uh, if they want your bike they will take your bike. But deterrence is a great helper as they will always go for the lowest hanging fruit, so to speak. So yeah, she's back guys, and uh, maybe I'll get some more vlogs out eventually, when I get time to edit stuff. <laughs> Thanks for all the help guys in sharing my lost, and, uh, my, sorry, my stolen status and all that sort of stuff. Greatly appreciated. And uh, thank you everyone for your kind words and support. Uh, yeah, super happy she's back and uh, yeah. 
I'll see you guys next time! You fucking serious, mate? No idea what that guy said. Oh lord, it is so good to be back on a bike. Fucking hell. Month and a half of trains! Ah! That being said, I did read like five books. Gotta count for something. Fucking hell.